The goal of a new program is to avoid confrontations between police and people who are suffering from mm -hmm. mental illness and to get them the help that they need. It's a unique idea and more and more cities are really seeing this as a solution. And Jennifer Bellamy joins us now. Jennifer, this could mean the difference between prison time or even a life and death situation. Yeah, Jeff, thousands of people with mental illnesses who go without treatment end up homeless or maybe even jails or in prisons. But the program Cahoots hopes to change that for the better and more people are starting to take notice. One in four. That's the number of deaths from police shootings that involve people with mental illnesses. That statistic from the Treatment Advocacy Center, a nonprofit mental health advocacy group, is more understandable when you consider the fact that more than 8 million people in America struggle with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder, and an estimated 40% of them go without treatment. That's why advocates across the country are working to find ways to get people the help they need as safely as possible. One of those programs is Cahoots, crisis assistance helping out on the streets out of the Eugene Springfield area in Oregon. It provides 24-7 mobile crisis intervention with a team made up of a medic, nurse, or EMT and a crisis worker with years of experience in mental health. They help with common issues like counseling, suicide prevention, substance abuse, housing, and medical care. Teams are sent out through local emergency centers, diverting these calls to Cahoots teams instead of to law enforcement. Goods has been around for about 30 years now, but more cities are looking to the program for guidance in their own communities. The program can also help beyond mental health calls as well. Teams in Oregon have also delivered death notifications and handed out supplies to those without homes. It can also help reduce cost. In 2017, law enforcement agencies nationwide spent $918 million transporting people with severe mental illnesses. But Kahoot staff members serve at half the cost of a police officer. And in that same year, Eugene's police department diverted 17 percent of its calls to Kahoot's teams, freeing up officers for higher level emergencies. Now, according to its website, Cahoots doesn't charge any fees, and since it's mobile, teams travel to those in need, and services are voluntary. And while they do assist police in some situations, they are not law enforcement.